welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a review on some Dollar Tree home storage supplies that I purchased the other day. I've been seeing these around there for a very long time and I'm super curious to see if they work. So we are going to try together. We've got some things I want to store away for a little while. Better opportunity than now to do it. So I picked up this Essentials Mesh Laundry Bag. It's a full-size one. I know they had some small ones, but this is the 36 by 24 inch. So that's pretty good size. So I grabbed one of those. I grabbed a jumbo blanket storage bag from Essentials again. Looks like it can hold a full comforter. We'll see. So I grabbed one of those. I grabbed the sweater storage bag that comes in a two pack. So it looks like for smaller items. We'll try that. And then I purchased the Essentials vacuum storage bag. And this is a large, and it says it will hold pillows, bedding, towels, clothing, and toys. And this is one pack, one in here. So we're going to try that. So what I'm going to do is I have all this stuff on the bed behind me. I will show you what I'm doing, and let's see if we can make it work. Why not? All right, so I'm going to stand up. I think that's a good view of the bed. Um, we're going to start with this the jumbo blanket storage bag i'm still kind of one-handed here it's pretty thin material but that's okay all i wanted to do is keep dirt off of this blanket and we're going to see how much of a blanket it will hold i'm still confused the zipper is doing something weird already. Okay, so I had to go all the way that way, and then we're gonna go back to get it unzipped. There we go. So as you can see, it feels like a rain poncho, the best I could describe it. And it goes in sort of like a pillowcase would. We're gonna load it from the front. Let me kind of adjust you a little better. There we go. We're gonna load it from the front. I have right here, this is a white, just a bedspread. It's not a comforter. So let's see if we can, oh yeah, that'll fit in there. Not a problem at all. Ooh, but I just ripped it. Sliding it up in there at the zipper point. So that's not good, right? But whatever. I'm wondering if I can fit a second comforter. This is a small like throw. So we're gonna put this in here. Might as well fill it up, right? Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna zip it. But I gotta be careful if I go too far, I'm gonna pull my zipper off. So it tore. So you wanna be gentle with it. But everything is in there. It's gonna keep the dust and debris, ugh, excuse me, my allergies off of it any cat fur that might be around. So I think that's pretty good. And there's plenty of room for some more. This would definitely hold my queen size. I'm not sure about a king, but it would definitely hold my queen size comforter. Um, this is a king size bedspread with a small little throw. So there's one item, got it. I'm gonna move it to the side here. Get that out of the way. Now, this is sweater storage and there's two in here I'm anticipating it's gonna be the same fabric just smaller and I was right look at me smart I'm gonna see I don't think so I was hoping it would hold a set of sheets I oops I don't anticipate that that's gonna hold a set of sheets that is pretty small it would definitely hold like hand towels, but let's see. This is how I pack up my sheets inside the pillowcase, but we're gonna take it out of its pillowcase. Sorry, my arm is still not quite functioning. It'll be a while on that. And see if I can get it into. So that's the flat sheet. And I'm gonna be careful this time and not rip it like I did the bigger one. But I feel like they're good. You just gotta be gentle. 
that's all. Okay, so there is the bottom sheet. See if I have my, oh, I unfolded my fitted, but I'll get it back together. We're gonna try to see if we can get the fitted sheet in here with it. What do you think? Are we, are we betting people? I don't know, but we're gonna see. Because that would be ideal if it could hold one set. Oh, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just finagling it in. Oh, guys. Now, you got to know how to fit, fold a flat sheet in order for this to work. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, and then I have somehow I end up with three pillowcases for a queen size bed, I don't know, but whatever. I'm gonna leave that extra pillowcase out because I have a pillow that needs it. And these are just extra sheets that I had for my bed that I now use for the spare. Okay, here's the thing, will it zip? Well, yes, it will. And again, these are queen size sheets for deep pocket. Again, it started to tear a little bit, but not too bad. All right, guys. I got one set of queen sheets in one of these sweater bags. Is that awesome or what? I mean, they're in there pretty good, too. So we'll put this over here. I'm going to keep this pillowcase out because we're actually one pillowcase short down here. I don't know. We don't question. We just do. Okay. Now, the mesh bag. I have some other little blankets over here that are going to need to be stored away as well from winter time. Huh, that's pretty good size. This would be great for vacation. I'm going to get some blankets over here for vacation or to put, um, you know, to put your dirty clothes in or better yet for the beach. If you're going to the beach, this would be perfect to put your sand toys in, shake them out, all the sand will fall through. Um, decent quality, I mean, I don't know how long it's gonna hold, but again, we're doing this sort of one-armed. I have about a half an arm, let's say that. Okay, so I have this. We have a lot of throw blankets that we put out in the winter time. We're not gonna need for summer. So my thought was, fill these up with throw blankets. And it definitely will hold a couple more, but now, I'm drawing the string and something's happening. Oh, it's all these little threads here are getting caught. There we go. And it even has a little handle on it, but look at that. That is perfect. And I'm telling you, I'm going to get one when I go on vacation to put dirty clothes in. And then I can just throw all the dirty clothes right in my suitcase in this bag. And then when I come home, I can launder them. So that fits perfect. I'm telling you guys, this is a win-win situation. So we have that over here. And the last item that I have, because I actually even have one more of these. I just don't have another set of sheets because they're actually on the bed, which is fine. I'm going to open this. This is the vacuum seal bag. Okay, I'm curious about this one. Feels pretty sturdy. That's good. It has one of these like clips on it, like the ones I pay money, expensive money for that seals you when you want to close it back up. So it's closed. It has a little screw here and then your seal. So we're gonna try to fit four towels in here. And we're gonna see, and then I have the vacuum behind me. So I need to take that over here. You can take it off. The little sealer deal, it just helps these shut back up. Okay. Feels pretty good quality. 
I have four bath towels here folded and a couple hand or washcloths, but we'll see. I think what I'll try to do is feed them in two at a time so they stay tidy. And sorry if it's a little dark down here. This is the basement spare room. Okay, we're getting you in here. And then what I want to kind of do is turn them. Okay, they're in there nicely. And then I have two more to go in. Like I said, my brother's coming to stay. His dog tends to chew things. Plus, I don't know, this is all my white stuff. I would prefer it to stay white. Now, on the second set, I didn't need to put them both in at the same time. And I don't know that I would have needed two at the bottom either. And again, you just want to be kind of gentle. I don't... Well. Okay. Now, when you reseal it, you take this plastic dealie and you snap it on the end here. And it should slide across and seal this back up. Ooh, what you did, I think. Yeah, airtight. Now, I'm going to get the vacuum. I'm going to unscrew this. And this is screw top, which is actually better quality than the ones I bought at the container store. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm shocked. I am completely and utterly shocked. Look at that. This works just as good, if not better, than the ones I was spending seven and eight dollars on. Look at that seal. And even without this being screwed down, it's holding the air. This is just to protect it so that the rubber seal doesn't come up. This, it's holding up here. What I'm going to do is slide this this way so I don't lose it. That's not on there very good. The little plastic clip. But look at there. Four towels. And I totally could have gotten the washcloths in there, but I just did it. All right, guys. I'm going to talk to you here in a second. Here is where they're being stored. On this little shelf right here. Look at it, perfect. Everything is gonna stay protected. I am gonna say big thumbs up to the Dollar Tree storage supplies. I am shocked completely. I'm definitely gonna get some more of those vacuum seal ones for more of the blankets and more sheets and things. But look at that. We have success. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like my review, please like, share, subscribe, and come back for more of what we have to offer here at My Crazy Life. Have a good one. Bye.